Oh, welcome back, you absolute stellar legends. So today we're going to be reacting to apparently the latest trailer of uh, Dragon Age, The Veil vale Guard, that's going to be coming out uh, in a few short days, October 31st. And you are damn well sure that I will be playing it on day one for free on Game Pass. All it cost me was 20 bucks a month. <laughs> All right, so before we get into the video, I want to actually give a, a little a shout out to a new YouTuber that I recently discovered. Uh, her name is Nyr. Uh, she's been doing some great reaction videos to uh, Dragon Age, so go check her out. Again, her name is Nyr. Uh, she is Spanish and she plays video games on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, yep, she's got 6,000 subscribers. She's funny, she's cute, she's very, very entertaining. So, without further ado, now. Events are weaving together quickly. The fate of the world shall be decided soon. So those things we saw come out of the fade... So we're just gonna watch the video first. They were horrific tyrants. The worst is still coming. Unless we stop them. Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Shut it down! Mark. I'm trying! Mark the dead Mark stir more easily than they should. Is that the Prince of Persia? The streets of Treviso get more dangerous by the day. The gods That's the Prince of Persia. That's Ubisoft EA, not you guys. The cults gathering power. Dark spawn are charging to Weishaupt. You're the only force that can stop this. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Get down! Help me, Wookie ones. You're my only hope. It will not be easy. But you are this world's only hope. I believe in all of us. Well, I could I could honestly say that I cannot wait to actually play this game. The content should be great. If YouTube recommends the videos like it's been recommending for the uh, the Dragon Age stuff, the channel should be popping again. I really don't understand how uh, the channel did so well for two weeks. 3,000 hours of watch time, 30,000 views on like a handful of videos. I proved that people stay on the channel and watch video after video. And then all of a sudden, once I started making Silent Hill videos, it flatlined my, uh, my channel. It makes absolutely no sense. I, I really don't get it, man. I really don't get it. It's not like Silent Hill is not a popular game, right? Okay, so back to the Events the game. Events are weaving together quickly. The fate of the world shall be decided. So one thing I noticed, there is a little bit less of a color wash over the game of Magenta. Maybe they heard my videos and said, you know what? This guy's on to us. Magenta, the color, out of space. I'd love to do a video in peace one day. And there it is, the magenta. 
So those things we saw come out of the fade. Two ancient elven gods. Come on, guys. Is it? Is this not the Prince of Persia? You guys remember the OG Prince of Persia? There it is. They were horrific tyrants. See this, if I remember, because this shot stood out the most to me, because it had like. It looks like a cool shot, but it, it also had a uh, magenta color wash over it. But this, with a reduction of that color, that color filter, things do look more atmospheric. See, like I said, guys, I trash when it's trash. And I say when things are good. And also keep in mind, whatever I say is my freaking opinion. I'm making these videos voicing my view on what I think the games and the movies and whatever I look like to me, to me and uh, how they make me feel. I am in no way making these videos trying to convince people that how they're viewing the game, how they're consuming their product is wrong. I'm correct. You guys should only be thinking the way I'm thinking. No, that is completely not the purpose of any of my videos. This is my channel and this is me making videos about how I receive things. And hopefully some of you guys will resonate. And I'm not looking for an echo chamber either. If you guys disagree, you can also leave your respectful comments below. The worst is still coming. So right there, like you can tell like they're trying to create a dark, scary kind of atmosphere, right? Unless we stop. Yeah, uh, we'll put a pin on that. I want you guys to pay attention to the characters. Their armor, their look. That have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Shut it down. I'm trying. Then you have the neon green. The dead stir more easily. Like I said, Prince of Persia. And what the hell is this thing? Some sort of like jewels. They look silly. They look stupid and silly. Then they should. Again, okay, I, I'm going to try and see if I could uh, make edit a picture to change the neon green to like red because look the design of this could be a little bit scary i mean like it's a gigantic nephilim skeleton rising above a tower and that should instill a sense of fear and dread in you but no it doesn't because it looks silly and that very very bright neon green that jade bright jade color it it dissipates any sort of dread that uh, will uh, that you're trying to create maybe they want to make a, a scary game but they don't want people to be afraid so they're like okay turn on all the lights that way everybody knows what everything looks like. And that's why they made them look silly. Cartoony. Yeah. Alright, then we got the... You know, I can... I could, I feel for this dragon, you know, it's being electrocuted by the magenta, the ultraviolet electricity being wokeified. <laughs> Shut up. Just subscribe and shut up. Prince of Persia. But the 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 dragon is so small. Like look at it. Giant head, big wingspan, but the body of the dragon is smaller than the width of the head. I, don't know, I could be nitpicking on stuff too, for sure. 
streets of Treviso? See, they reduced the magenta color wash. They reduced it. All right, so this guy right here is supposed to be a traditional Kunari. Treviso get more dangerous by the day. Again, check out Nur's channel, Prince of Persia. They don't know how to create the intimidation, that's the thing. Let me flip over the table, that should be intimidating enough. See, this looks better. The The red should have been a deeper, darker red. But this has more of a imposing feel compared to the green neon giant skeleton. No? Are your eyes lying to you? <laughs> See what I mean? This does something to you. Red is supposed to signify something scary, imposing, terror. Power. Dark spawn are charging to Weishaupt. You're the only force that can stop this. I wonder how easy it is to change color schemes, like uh, color filters over uh, a game, because I definitely am noticing a lot less magenta and a lot more uh, darker color palettes. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Get down! Uh, better looking dragon. So I'm noticing this is more of like a cinematic trailer. There's no real uh, action that we're, uh, we're seeing they know how bad the action looked in their last trailer like again the green and I think this is the first time we saw blood uh, in uh, the new Dragon Age uh, trailers but where's the blood coming from will not be easy but you are this world's own Kunari, my friends. Kunari. This thing looks so stupid. See, this is what I mean by... So what they're trying to do is they're trying to have a scary game. Or they're trying to have scary and dark elements in the game. But it doesn't work. Because firstly, the characters look stupid. And or generic. Because it's a mixture of both like as fancy as they made this thing look it does look stupid <laughs> i think that's the most factual thing that i can say in this video is that this character looks cringe this character looks stupid and then you have all the monsters and the demons that very much look cartoony and silly and comedic so Whatever scary horror atmosphere, dark atmosphere you're trying to create, it all gets undone by everything else around it. Oh, blood. I believe in all of them. Alright, so this is why I asked you guys to put a pin on this before, and I asked you guys to pay attention to the characters. This is exactly what I mean by generic this is generic across the board there's you cover all of these heads up actually no you don't even need to cover up the heads this all of this looks like an npc background and you have the hero jiga vega in the foreground and everybody liking and subscribing and inviting their grandmothers to check it out. This screams generic low effort. It's, there's no creativity behind this. Look, 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 who, who stands out? Who has a unique silhouette over here? Nobody. 
one of the thing one of the first things that character designers do is when they design their character they black out the character to see what the silhouette looks like and if the silhouette does not stand out especially if it's supposed to be for your main party they work on it they add layers to it go back to the silhouette until it's a unique enough looking silhouette for a main character or main party all this this is npc background Prince of Persia. Alright, so then we have the... This dragon looks interesting. So, this is another character that always... This is another character that always intrigued me because it does look... It does look cool. It's supposed to be a main baddie in the game, but it's not. It's not imposing. It's not scary. And I'm sure when the mask, the helmet comes off, it looks goofy as hell. And that was the. So this is the dragon that I said looks like. What the hell did I call it? A, dra a dragon made out of moldy garbage. Watch that video. Alright, so we'll leave it there. So the game is coming out very shortly. In just about six more days. Like I said, I will be uh, making video content on it if you guys have been enjoying my videos like I said I will be handling the video appropriately where it's good I'll give it the praise and the props and when it's cringe crap I will point it out you can check out the history of my channel it's what I've been doing for a long time so if you guys enjoy the video please like subscribe bookmark the channel check out the links in the description for some cool cosmic horror posters t-shirts mugs pins stuff like that it's on redbubble and i also have a deviant art account you guys could check out and as always stay stellar and i'll catch you guys on the next one jiga vega out all right that's enough of that